No doubt many of you are planning to hit the road for the upcoming Labor Day holiday for one last summer weekend getaway, right? Well, however, much like other holidays, Labor Day is expected to have a heavy traffic and could cause travel problems. 17's Michaela Armstrong in studio tonight with more ahead of the busy holiday. Michaela. If you're gearing up for the Labor Day weekend to savor the final moments of the summer, here's a few tips you should keep in mind before embarking on your holiday plans. Summer travel has been hot all season and the travel craze is not letting up this Labor Day holiday weekend, according to AAA's Doug Shoup. We are expecting it to be very busy on our roadways as well as at the airports, the bus stations, the train stations, and the cruise ship terminals. A lot of people are ready to get out there and see the world again, of course, with the COVID restrictions that have lifted all across the globe. This is going to be an opportunity for a lot of people to spend that quality time with their friends and their family again and wrap up their summer vacations. According to AAA, Thursday, August 31st, between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. is expected to be the busiest time on the roads during the long Labor Day weekend. And Friday, September 1st, we'll also have more traffic between 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. It's always a good idea to leave as early in the day as you possibly can, but still drive at times when you'd normally be awake to avoid drowsy driving. Gas prices heading into the weekend remain stable, even down in some places compared to last year. But Shoup says the best way to maximize fuel efficiency while traveling is to maintain your vehicle. So making sure that your vehicle is well maintained will help you maximize your fuel efficiency, but also hopefully prevent a roadside breakdown this holiday weekend so you get to your destination on time, but most importantly, safely. CHP officer Eric Scott says it is also essential to be a defensive driver this holiday weekend. Always assume that the people driving around you aren't as good as you are when you're operating that vehicle, and you always want to try to anticipate uh, something bad happening. That way you have time to react. We want everybody to, to leave wherever they're leaving from safely and get where they're going to safely uh, with the least amount of incidents that we can see out there on the roadway. And a reminder, the CHP will be out in full force starting Friday looking for impaired or distracted drivers. For more information on Labor Day travel, go to our website at KGET.com. In studio, Michaela Armstrong, 17 News.